Hi everyone, Delon Wolf here and welcome back for some more EVE Online where I'm continuing the level 4 missions and well today we're going to explore Downing the Slavers 2 of 2. The first part was really easy, uh, just had to take care of like half a dozen ships, blow up a structure. Uh, I did need a little bit of cargo space. So uh, that was a little bit annoying. I couldn't take all of the different munitions and things like that with me. But overall, uh, that was pretty easy. Also pretty good spot for my warping. And it's against Sancha. So we know that we either want to do thermal or uh, EM damage in order to deal with this mission. That does make it a little bit more easy. So next up, we just have one jump to go. And then we can get into the mission. Uh, number two should still be quite doable. If I look at the uh, ISK reward, it's like a half a million plus half a million for the time bonus that usually means that it's not that hard i think the harder ones are like over a million then you do have uh, a lot of enemy ships and you need to spend quite a little bit of time uh, running that single mission but this one should be doable in a decent time frame so another chance to uh, give the uh, uh, raven navy issue a better test and see if we can't uh, perform a little bit better than to have to keep running off the field due to the incoming damage i must say the nightmares from the Sasha, pretty tanky boogers. Uh, those guys are very strong, takes quite a decent chunk of time to uh, take him down. There was only one of them in the previous mission, but it definitely took a decent beating. So I think we're just going to go straight for Mjolnir cruise missiles this time and see if we can't um, dish out a little bit, bit better damage than with the Inferno Fury missiles. I'm not really sure. I think it's actually, uh, you know, pretty much the same but let's warp to the location let's see what we'll encounter here as there's another praxis that's warping somewhere uh, right on the gates and yeah let's see if we can handle this combat mission this is should be pretty straightforward it's just uh, destroy everything so that's uh, right up um, the alley of this uh, of this combat ship of course so jumping in let's see what we encounter as we enter and then yeah let's try to make the right choices of course when it comes to moving and things like that so perhaps this time what i could try to do is just take a far away target and then give like an orbit order or something like that oh there's a gate on this one as well that's interesting and oh my god God, they're super close again. <laughs> what the hell is happening with these missions? You know what I'm going to try then? I'm going to actually try to see if I can pull away from uh, from these targets. And then I'm going to drop the, uh, the medium drones. And I'm actually going to go for these cruisers first. Um, so now we're trying to like pull a little bit of distance. Cruisers take... Man, that's a really good shot. He was down uh, in no time. So I should probably... Try to use like one volley, send the drones, stop it, there we go, and have the drones take care of the structure, so that's that. In the meantime, I am now at like 40 kilometers, second one, send the volley, that's actually a one shot right there, super nice, I'm gonna cut the micro driver at like 50 kilometers, so the incoming damage should be a lot better. And yeah, these guys are actually uh, close range. That's interesting. Blue beams, close range. Now they are tracking me a little bit, but you can see the incoming damage is not that serious. Second volley on that one. And then we'll take care of the Sintus Lord, uh, who are now at 60 kilometers. So I'm actually going to start to turn around again. And do my missiles even hit that controller? What the hell? Didn't really spot what was happening there. Let's uh, let's go. More missiles. F all right, Blap. Finally, he's down. All right, all drones on the first one. Try to not spread my damage too much. And uh, yeah, this time they don't go for my drones. I think we just basically do enough damage here uh, to keep them on on us uh, from the launchers. The drones are not bonus or anything like that, but they should help out here to get that constant stream of like 100 damage on the target. Next missile volley. Let's see how deep into structure. Oh, just gone. <laughs> Obliterated. That was pretty good. Final target. That means that I'm also going to reactivate the micro drive and get a little bit closer. These guys are worth 375,000 disc for a single battleship. That's not so bad. So, up oh, there we go. That's his armor gone. Final volley. I can probably return these hammerheads then as well. There she blows. Good stuff. 
let's get in range of the gates. Let's reload. And yeah, EM, pretty damn good damage. One-shotting some of these cruisers is very satisfying. Don't really want to drop the mobile tractor units just yet. Perhaps in a later phase, I'll also try to explore the loot. So next gate, music picks up. So that's promising to be a little bit more tricky. Let's cut the microbe drive. So now we drift in between the asteroids and we should be able to align before we hit it. Come on, come on, align. We're in its shadow. Stay underneath that block. <laughs> come on, there we go. Just, just about. Now that's some fancy piloting. Let's get into room number two. I do think it's close by again. Yeah, it's... Oh, that's actually more reasonable. Well, all of the... Um, all of the turrets are quite close. So I'm actually going to go down. Speed up. And I'm going to try the same tactic here, I think. Try and take down some of these. Oh, and I'm webbed right away. Okay, that's a bit more of a challenge. Let's go. Small drones out as well on the small targets. First cruiser is already down. That is good. More cruisers, please. They're taking the Berserker. That is good news as well. Oh, and I should not waste my captain on this. Uh, Demon not spotting anything that should be too tough. That slaver is strong. Heading to 50%. Who the hell is webbing me, by the way? Um, stasis towers. Two stasis towers. Interesting. Let's see if we can do something about that next. Grab that demon. After that slaver, I'll try and take those down. Come on, missiles. Do your thing. Jesus Christ, he's got strong tank. Uh, it's gonna get close. It's gonna be close. Uh, do I want to send... Maybe I should send these guys. Oh my god. That one slaver. Just so strong. Finally is destroyed. Stasis tower. Missiles. Go, go, go. We're at the worst part of our... Or best part of our rep. So that one goes down easily. Next one. Like that, microbe drive, give it everything you've got. Small enemies, they'll stay in range. Let's see if I can... Come on, missiles! God damn it, I fired. Can I get away from everything? Quickly enough, that's the question. It's getting close, but now we should really speed up. There's the incoming damage. There's the speed, though. I'm just going to keep firing at stuff. Until we get into real trouble. Next one. Come on. Now avoid shots and start repping shields. That would be the dream. Because then I know now. One, two, three, five. Yeah, they keep, they keep uh, pushing me back, though. Annoyingly enough. Right, next one. 50% armor. Let's go. Next target. I do think it is slowing down. We're now at 60 kilometers. There we go. 1% shields. And I'm starting to breathe again. <laughs> so, there. Good, 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 good. I'm, I'm slowly, slowly learning, guys. A couple of my hops are taking a bit of damage. But honestly, they should be fast enough to guide all of that trouble. Ooh, and then the missiles do bring us back down uh, on the shields. They are still quite annoying. As I keep pulling back, I'm actually going to try and orbit this guy probably at the current. That could be okay to do. Like that. And it's another slaver. Those guys are tanky, I have to say. That is uh, quite some impressive tanking. Let's cut the microbe drive down now. Um, and then I'm going to go for that Savage Lord next. Let's see if we can take him down. Uh, Bounty 535, that should be doable. <laughs> then it's, it's, it's a close one. 
but I obviously made that that rookie mistake uh, at the beginning um, take those webbers down and I, I would have been in that safe spot while still having shields left it's definitely uh, doable uh, you know in, in, a, in a safer way so that's very good music is still blaring shields are down on the savage lord while the enemy missiles do still cause me some trouble one of my drones has a little bit of damage half armor all right still holding at one percent let's go should be its armor gone another volley and let's align kikutami on this one is that it yep set destination excellent as we run out of missiles set destination and we managed to finally <laughs> one shot <laughs> a mission although it is uh you know with the shipping structure because i didn't take care of those uh webbing towers first but that's another lesson learned right take care of the e-war first and then you will be fine thank you very much for watching guys and as always i'll see you next time